the hangover from a lengthy World Series run and then a rotation that was riddled with all kinds of injuries. Then they had 11 players in the World Baseball Classic. Jordan, what are the concerns about any sort of fatigue and how that factors into this team early this season? Yeah, you know, I don't think there's much concern about fatigue. I think when you think of a guy like Francisco Lindor, I mean, he was sort of one of the faces of that Puerto Rico team. And when he came back, he came back very energized, even though they finished as the runner-up in the World Baseball Classic. And we've seen in past years with guys like Carlos Santana, when he played in 2013, you know, he came back with, uh, with, you could tell, just a different attitude, and it carried into the season. So position player-wise, I really don't think they're really worried about it. Um, the other guys that participated, um, you know, a guy like Andrew Miller, it wasn't so much fatigue that was a concern or even really workload so much because he only pitched, I think, two and two-thirds innings in the World Baseball Classic. It was more about the types of pitches he was throwing. You know, was he going to his slider in a, in a competitive environment earlier than maybe he would in a typical spring training setting and you know they were pleased with how he approached it before he went to the classic and they were you know in good communication with Jim Leland and you know Team USA with how he was used during the tournament and you know they really were happy with how he came back to camp and worked behind the scenes not just in his games on fine-tuning his pitches leading up to opening day so I really you know as we sit here now with the benefit of hindsight I don't think there's as much concern as maybe there was about, let's, you know, let's say Andrew Miller before the tournament began. Hmm.